Hello and welcome to our webinar on transitioning from the Dexcom G4 Platinum System with Share to the Dexcom G5 Mobile Continuous Glucose Monitor. My name is Michelle and we're going to start today by discussing how to update your receiver. So if you have a Dexcom G4 receiver with Share, you can update the software on the receiver so that it's compatible with the Dexcom G5 system. Now you may have received instructions on how to do this, but we're also briefly going to review that process here today. Now first, to upload the software on the receiver or update the software on your receiver, you need to download the Dexcom update tool. You can download that update tool from the web address listed here, store.dexcom.com forward slash update dash tool. Now when you download that update tool onto your computer, go ahead and open it and follow the instructions. At one point, it will ask you to attach a receiver to your computer using that USB charging cable. It will then ask you for an authorization code. You may have received this authorization code, but if you did not, please contact our technical support department to obtain an authorization code. Now there are a few things you should know before you complete the update on this receiver. The first is that the update is going to erase all of the glucose information that is being stored on that receiver. So if you are somebody who typically uploads your receiver data into reporting software such as Dexcom Clarity, make sure you go ahead and do that before you complete this update. Also, this software update will restore the settings on your receiver back to the factory default settings, meaning it's going to erase all of the alerts and alarms and settings that you have stored on that receiver. So you might want to make note of what alarms and alerts you have set, so that way you can reprogram those back in after the software update is complete. Lastly, you ideally want to perform this update in between sensor sessions or once your sensor session has ended. Now there are a few new things that you want to know about your Dexcom G5 transmitter. One is that it has a battery life of three months, so you will need to change your transmitter every three months. And your display device will warn you when your transmitter battery is about to die. You will receive a warning prompt on your display device three weeks prior, two weeks prior, and one week prior to that transmitter battery dying. Also, your display device will not allow you to start a new sensor session if you have less than one week of battery life left in that transmitter. Now, you may have received either one or possibly even two G5 transmitters. Make sure you only use one transmitter at a time, meaning use one G5 transmitter until that three-month battery life is up and then discard it and start using your next G5 transmitter. Your transmitter is now going to communicate with your display device via Bluetooth technology, so long that your display device and your transmitter remain within 20 feet of each other. When you start using a new transmitter for the first time, you'll see the Bluetooth symbol on your display device flash or blink. And that indicates that your, your display device and your transmitter are attempting to pair or attempting to uh, establish communication with each other. But once that Bluetooth symbol becomes solid or stops blinking, it indicates that your display device and your transmitter have successfully paired and they are now communicating with one another. Now one of the most exciting new features about the Dexcom G5 system is that you now have the ability to use two different types of display devices. You can either just use the Dexcom receiver that came with your Dexcom system, or you can use a compatible smart device, or you can use a combination of both the receiver and the smart device at the same exact time. You can also interchange between the two devices. So for example, you could use your smart device during the day and your receiver at night or vice versa. Now there are a few things that you may want to consider when you're deciding what kind of display device you want to use. One is that the alerts can be set differently or the same on both devices. And if you're somebody who thinks you want to use both the smart device and the receiver at the same exact time, you only have to calibrate one device. You also only have to start and stop a sensor session on one device. However, when you get an alert, such as an alert for a high or a low glucose, you are going to get that alert on both devices, and then you do have to clear or silence the alert on both devices separately. Now the share feature is only available on a smart device, and the reason for that is that you need internet capability in order for share to function properly. 
Now, if you're going to use the Dexcom or if you're going to use a smart device, you need to make sure you install the Dexcom G5 mobile app. And you can download that app from the App Store. When you open that app for the very first time, it's going to ask you to log in with a username and password. So if you've created a Dexcom account in the past, make sure you use that same username and password to log in. If you have never created a Dexcom account in the past, there is an option there to select sign up, create an account, and then log in with a username and password. Now the Dexcom G5 app does now have the ability to override your phone settings, meaning that if your phone volume is turned all the way down, or if you have the mute switch or do not disturb option enabled, you will still receive an alert on your smart device. So for example, if you did have the phone volume turned all the way down, or if you had that mute switch or do not disturb option enabled, the first alert you would get on your smart device would be a vibration only. If you miss that alert and you did not press, if you did not clear that vibration, it would then result in an audible alert with increasing volume every five minutes until you clear or silence that alarm. Now also make sure that you keep Bluetooth turned on at all times on your smart device because remember that your smart device is going to communicate with your transmitter via Bluetooth. Now, if you are somebody who is using Dexcom Share with your G4 system, you no longer need to use the Share 2 app. The Share feature is now integrated into the Dexcom G5 mobile app. So to set up Share, you'll click on the gray triangular icon in the upper right-hand corner of your G5 app home screen, and you do not need to re-invite your followers. On the G5 app home screen, you'll be able to view your three-hour trend graph. If you want to view more information than that, just simply turn your phone sideways or horizontally in landscape mode, and you'll be able to view up to the last 24 hours of glucose information. So now let's briefly review how your Dexcom G5 system can work in conjunction with reporting software called Dexcom Clarity. Dexcom Clarity is the newest reporting software that you and your physician can use to retrospectively review all of the glucose information that your Dexcom system has been collecting over time. Dexcom Clarity is a cloud-based or web-based program that you can access on a computer or a laptop at clarity.dexcom.com. And Clarity will provide you with a lot of different graphs and charts that you and your physician can use to really determine where the trends and the patterns are in your glucose, meaning where is your glucose typically high and where is your glucose typically low. Now you can share your Clarity reports with your physician through the Dexcom Clarity Report app. This app provides you with one of two options or one of two ways in which you can share your Clarity reports with your physician. One way is through the use of a sharing code. If you generate a sharing code, it will generate a 12-digit code that you can provide to your doctor, and that will grant them access to all the glucose information that has ever been uploaded into your Clarity account. The other way you can share your Clarity reports with your physician is through the use of an email invite. So if your clinic has established a Clarity Healthcare Provider account, they can send you an email invite with a temporary authorization key. And you can type that temporary authorization key into your Clarity Report app, and that will also provide your physician with access to all the glucose information that has ever been uploaded into your Clarity account. Now, as far as how you upload your Dexcom data into your Clarity account, it is somewhat dependent on the type of display device that you're using. So if you're using the Dexcom receiver, you first need to download the Dexcom Clarity uploader tool onto your computer. And you can download that uploader tool by logging into your home user account by going to clarity.dexcom.com. Once that uploader tool is installed on your computer, you can then plug your receiver into your computer using that USB charging cable and upload that glucose data into your Clarity account. If you're using the Dexcom G5 mobile app, that app will send your glucose information to your Clarity account on its own every three hours via the internet connection on your phone. But if you're somebody who is using both the receiver and the G5 app at the same time, and if there are ever instances where your receiver obtained glucose information that your uh, G5 app did not, you also want to make sure that you plug that receiver into the computer and upload that receiver data into your Clarity account. And then Clarity will merge the data from both the receiver and the G5 app into one cohesive report. 
Now you also want to make sure that you always log into your Dexcom G5 mobile app and your Clarity Report app and your Clarity Home user account on your home computer with the same username and password. That's very important. Great, so that completes our webinar for today. Thank you so much for joining us. Please make sure to take a look at the indication for use and safety statement in your quick start guide and in your user guide. We encourage you to take a look at our website for additional webinars that we offer. And I'm part of the patient care department and we're a group of certified diabetes educators here to provide you with ongoing support and answer your questions. Our hours are listed here along with our phone number. So please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions at all. And thank you again for joining our webinar today.